We got another graph one here. And remember my first inclination in these the scatter plot ones is ignore your dots. We're focusing on our line. And I want to take two points and I want to graph it. So my first estimation might be right about here. Looks like 14 and 550. And then I go a little bit more up my line. I try to find one that kind of mimics it like this. And I'm seeing 20, 750. And remember with two points, we open up our Desmos. And I add this little table button here. And I go 14, 550. And 20, and I think it was 750. And then we just click our regression button here. This is definitely going to be linear. And here's our equation right here. It looks like 33 plus 83. And I look through my answers. And again, all they're looking for is the one that matches our graph. Now, had I just gone off my graph, you probably might have been tricked into looking for a y-intercept that's close to 400. So a lot of people are going to gravitate towards these two answers. The reason why these end up being incorrect is look at your x-axis. Remember, your y-intercept is supposed to be when x is 0. Our x is 10 when our y would have been 400. So our y-intercept is actually way to the left, and that's why graphing your own graph is always going to be more effective than trying to interpret theirs. It's going to be D.